you have the intro? Shit, no, I didn't. Ah, post. Do it in post. Merry Christmas, everyone, and welcome to Who's That Anime's Christmas Special with your host Stephen Colin, whose Christmas and outlook I got. I got. Um, you have Bob uh, definitely. Bob Christmas. Bob Bob, whichever one. One of the Bobs. Does he make noises? Is that the one that makes noises? Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll bring it. And you you put you press them down here, which makes it even worse. <laughs> does it just count, does it? It's just like, it, <laughs> it doesn't like it. <laughs> My uh, audio cancelling software is a uh, top form, but it's, it's working well. That's good. So that was the noise of Bob. I've I've got a, a cl- I've got a new a new. Oh, why do I show this? There's there? Bob. Yeah, there's Bob. Uh, but your X file thing. Uh, uh, got a new. You got a new clock. Uh, it's not a new clock. That is my clock from when I was about thirteen years old. <laughs> I was going to say that, man. That, that clock must be yeah. like <laughs> forty it's years like old. Pro- it's like a proper OG uh, X Files clock. An original X Files clock. I used to have a yeah. an X Files T shirt, and it had like the you know or it was X Files, wasn't it? And it had like the blue squilly man face in the intro uh, I may have also had that same t-shirt it was awesome I think at one point we will need to do our uh, X-Files watch through podcast Colin I feel like that's it's going to happen at some point I mean it certainly will be an idea in your head I mean it's already on there already I haven't watched it in since the original airings oh man it's like I I don't even think I've watched the new seasons yeah, the new ones I've that watched, came out. I think I watched the first couple of episodes of what season of it, season ten, I think, and then uh, I never watched any more. Not because it wasn't good or anything. I just like, I think I was waiting for it to all come out, and then I just never, <laughs> never got around to watching it. And then season eleven came out, and I was like, man, I haven't watched season ten yet. Yeah, how many seasons of the more? Did I, I think it was season eleven was the last one. So, um, yeah. I, was, I uh, do fancy a watch through. Certainly a weird thing, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. No, no. we're here to talk about a weirder thing than that. <laughs> Can you believe? Well, yeah. Anyway, so it's our Christmas special, and is. contrary to our tradition, we've been trying to watch Christmas esque anime, and to be honest. It's not just the loosely tie to Jesus Christ, who's one of the main characters. There is no. a Christmassy special episode. It was more New Year, but it was that is time it? of year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like did, that's that's the weird. Did we watch one. the same thing? Oh God, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah, only yeah. touched on at the start. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is... Holy shit. Uh, so last year, the, the, one of the things that I think is quite interesting about this is there is not... Like, with, in real in, in, in real life, in, in live-action movies, there is a dearth of Christmas stuff. Just It's just it's littered with Christmas stuff. Yeah. But in anime, there's there, there's not really that much... Not that surprised, to be honest. It's not exactly a thing of their culture. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I guess not. Because um, like, KFC is their thing, right? KFC is apparently the thing they do. And that's only because I believe some arbor back in the day. But they they drove Christianity out of the country for a while. Like, Oh, really? I, yeah, yeah. My yeah, knowledge yeah. of this is not good. So, I think apparently there are some... 
dude. It came from it came from the the church and mm-hmm. went over to Japan and was like there practicing Christianity. They're all right, and then I. F- Feel that maybe a Protestant landed on the island, shipwrecked, and came close with the emperor at the time, or something like that. I, I don't know the full thing, but essentially, emperor then decided to exile Christianity from Japan and all Westerners because they're corrupt I mean, and evil. It's sort of like uh, uh, the episode of The Simpsons uh, mm-hmm. where Homer becomes a missionary. I mean, to be honest. This is back in times when Pro- uh, Protestants and Christian uh, and Christianity was it Protestants and Christians? Yeah, Christians. Protestants and Catholics. Catholics, that's it. I knew it started with a C. I come from the West Coast where it's kind of like you're either this or that. Yeah, I, I was, was going to say, I, I also come from the West Coast where it's mostly that. Yeah. It's, 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 you're these things, right? It's like, I am neither, I am neither of those. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so... <laughs> Staying out this fucking fight. <laughs> yeah. Because it's still bitter down there. But uh, yeah, oh, so back in the early days when Protestants and Catholics was a thing, there was a, certainly a tendency to have... Well, we talked on this before. Uh, for example, Guy Fox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Guy Fox is the reason why we celebrate the fifth of November. Uh, and he basically had a plan with a lot of Christian people to um to kill the at the time Protestant king. And part of the pro uh, the plan. Catholic, was it the Catholic king? Protestant king. It was a Protestant king, and they wanted Protestant to bring king. a Catholic king in. I oh, believe, because okay. he was Catholic, so they wanted to kill the king. My, my history is not great. I my, my entire history revolves around horrible history books, and that was mostly just the violence. I mean, horrible history teaches history quite well, I believe. Oh no, it's 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 like that. That's not a slight on horrible history. That's just the things I remember tend to be the. <laughs> The bits that are the not nice parts. <laughs> well, I mean, this isn't nice either because you end up getting hung, drawn, qu- quartered. Quartered? Yeah, that, well, that's what happened to William Wallace as well. I think we oh, said this the last time. Yeah. I, my, my favorite, my favorite uh, of the the horrible history books was the Groovy Greeks. <laughs> the Groovy Greeks, oh God. <laughs> the Groovy Greeks and the Rotten Romans. And uh, are those uh, the slimy Stuarts, the terrible Tudors? Oh yeah, Stuarts was the uh, the king of kings of and um, kings of Britain for a while. Scottish, yep. I believe. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. So um, I, th- I think that's... there's another book on that and the Scots as well. And there was one. There was a very specific one on the on the the Britain the Britons in general mm. as well. And that's uh, the other thing is why Queen Elizabeth the Second is is technically shouldn't be regarded it's... as Queen Elizabeth the Second in Scotland because she's the first Queen Elizabeth. Because the Queen Elizabeth, I don't believe, was Queen of the Union. Oh, interesting. Because there's a the whole thing about James as well, isn't there? James the First. Uh yeah, James the first was the guy uh William Wallace and everyone's fighting. Yeah. I believe. And I don't think the union of the crowns has fully happened by the time Queen Elizabeth happened. Uh That's fair. And this is why I, I don't remember there's bitter rivalry between Scotland and England and the oh not not just cause uh uh Westminster's um Westminster, I th- bought out Scotland when we had know, a par- I, part of previous parliament. But let's not get into this. It's not this, a history this lesson. Just brings it brings it back to the Simpsons of uh, yeah. groundskeeper Willie. Uh, what is it? Yeah, stupid yeah. Scot, st- stupid Scots. They ruined Scotland. Yeah. Or oh, uh, yeah, th- there's like a <laughs> there's a whole bit in there. Is that they hate people like people from Glasgow and people from Edinburgh 
or like mm-hmm. people. It, uh, yeah, it's yeah. Don't like each other. I don't yeah, know why. It's, it, I suppose it's, it's, it's yeah. Once again, it's down to some stupid rivalry that happened like three hundred years ago. I think it's because Edinburgh's the capital and Glasgow's not. What was it? Was that a thousand years ago? Oh, yeah, uh, that's partly that too. But then, then they claim that Glasgow was capital at one point, and then it was. I, 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 I kind of have to agree. Glasgow, Glasgow will always be capital of Scotland for me. <laughs> it's certainly the biggest population in Scotland. Yeah, yeah. It's like a was it like a million people? I think in Glasgow, like a, a just just under a fifth of the population. <laughs> Some of that in yes. that one city. It's fucking nuts. It is insane. Crazy. Anyway, we were talking about Christmassy stuff, and we were saying, yeah, there's there's a, there's not a, a great amount of uh, Christmas based anime. Certainly, Christmas based episodes, because I think we've done quite a few animes where there have been Christmas themes. I'm pretty sure Haru had a Christmas episode, and Steins Gate yeah. certainly did. Yeah, um, they did. Those two did, certainly did. Uh, maybe Cowboy Bebop. No, didn't really do it. Maybe has been another one, but. Last year, I think we we, we, Probably, we yeah. well we did ghost we did the episode. Oh, ghost stories! Did that have a Christmas one? Maybe. Oh well, no, no, it, it didn't have the beach episode. They went to some hotel. Oh, the the, the ghost hotel. The, the ghost hotel in the in <laughs> in the middle of the mountain. Oh fuck! That's right. Got Look, that lady. Look, lady. Look, That's red. Oh god. No, it was blue. I hate, I hate that. I hate that. that a um there's a uh but we watched um Tokyo Godfathers last year. We did. Which uh I have convinced my wife that she needs to watch for Christmas this year because genuinely that movie was wonderful. Like properly wonderful. Uh yeah. we have chosen to continue that tradition by talking about something Christmas themed for our Christmas episode, we have sadly not chosen to continue to talk about something wonderful. <laughs> it's it's a it's a show. Um, it, so, uh, it, it it it's a show in that it exists and somebody did it. Technically, we could have probably watched this for Easter for the exact same reason. <laughs> you're right. As, God, you're right. As uh, we're watching it for Christmas, like say we really just. Went, oh, what's Christmas? Oh, you know this. This one's about Jesus, Jesus is and Buddha. <laughs> that's that's all about. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Nothing says Christmas like Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway, God. the pre- premise <sighs> of this is uh, Jesus and Buddha are living in in some uh, apartments in Tokyo. I want to say. I think so. It's the I think it's the Matsuda Apartments is their name. Uh, yeah, and they have uh, they have come to take a break, a holiday, from the heavens to live among the people. Yeah, well, we don't learn that until well the way we watched it. Don't learn that until the second episode, which is weird. No, but it's basically what's going on. Like, yeah, if you it, it's the standard premise is they are wearing as you can see from the picture if you're watching the video version of this, they're wearing uh jeans and t-shirts. Yeah, for most yeah. of the most of the episodes, incognito. Uh, they, they are incognito. They're, 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 they're doing a very bad, doing a very bad job of it. Um, <laughs> the first, so it's it's basically as far as I can see, broken into three episodes. I think, um, mm-hmm. and the first episode revolves around them finding a place to stay, uh, which is they 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 find the uh, the Matsuda apartments. Uh, no. No, not the way I watched it. The first one was about uh, how they fear the landlady of the apartments, and they try to appease her, where she's suspicious of them of being. Oh yeah, sorry, I, I, I mean, yeah. Or they, yeah, they have just arrived, uh, and they're because they they go to uh, they go to pay their rent because they, they she she's suspicious of them. She doesn't like them because they they are layabouts. They don't have jobs, as far as she can tell. Uh, yeah. And then they, they appear at her door and they're like, oh, uh, we brought three months rent. Yeah. <laughs> because we felt it was the nice thing to do. And she's like, you don't need to do that. Like, no, but it's the it's the nice it's, thing to do. It's the done thing to do, yeah. Yeah. It's a respectful thing and to she... do. Uh, and we also brought you a gift. 
<laughs> That's right. Constantly, uh, every time she has a thought about, mm-hmm. oh, those guys, I don't like them. Something not right. Better keep an eye on them. I actually know I'm going to kick them out. And every time she thinks I'm going to kick them out, they're like, oh, here's money. Here's rent. <laughs> here's, a, here's a gift. Fuck, okay. Fine. I guess you can... You know what? You can stay. I'm just going to keep an eye on you instead. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. She, so she starts detectiving around town. Yeah. Yeah, but let's talk about the gift. What was the gift? A goat. Oh, shit. Sure, that's right. Because it's a, a custom from, <laughs> from Hebrew or something. Uh, <laughs> is he Hebrew? Where is and he she's, from? She, yeah, he's, he's from uh, Jerusalem, right? Bethlehem. Yeah, Bethlehem. That's it, yeah. See how much religion is in Jesus my of Nazareth. <laughs> uh, so yeah, much religion in my she, blood. She, uh, <laughs> she's like, uh, what? Why? And he's like, oh, is this not... This is the thing I do. Should it have been a sheep? Is that yeah. the problem here? Yeah. And then she's like, no pets in the building! Oh! oh. Alright, sorry. And then I think she shuts the door on him and then all you hear is a, a call behind the door. It's like, Peter, Peter, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that, Peter. As a Saint Peter. Oh, and, God. Uh, and then they knock and uh, ring the doorbell again and uh, Buddha produces some Tea. Is it tea? With, yeah, that's right. With gold flakes in it. Here, have this. Yeah. It's just a little bit of something. And she's like, Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, this is this is a gift I can I can get on board with. Yeah, and so here we he starts to say some something virtue and his hail is about to shine. Or is it... Like it's all glowy. Yeah, he starts to get all glowy and then uh, Jesus is like, Stop it, stop it now. Don't worry about the thing. <laughs> it's it's so oh god, it's so ridiculous. It's so yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Uh and then Yeah, so then she go away and then she's like, right, I'm gonna go and do some detection like you said. And then yeah. she starts hearing listen to the rumors. Oh yeah, yeah, he was walking in water. He's a ninja. He's a ninja. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just walking more <laughs> his things uh, oh. and say, like, oh, are you guys so. drunk? Because uh, there were a bunch of drunkards of the, of the area. Yeah. Apparently. They're like, no, we're not drunk. And then in the background you see him like fetching a ball out of the, the, the river or the barn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, I think somebody somebody also says is like, oh yeah, they're always flo-. like I saw them flying, like they're floating about. I think they're aliens, and then it's just see them like all blue and creepy. Oh, uh, they, look, they look like um, Andorians from Star Trek. I think they were called from the original the Enterprise series. Oh, I never watched Enterprise. Yeah, that was that, that was. was cool. Cool. Um, I'm gonna and... I'm gonna do a Star Trek binge at some point, Colin. I'm gonna start at the original series because I've never really watched the original series. Oh, that's a far take. Well, I understand it was very progressive for its time. It was very progressive for a time. It doesn't mean it was good. No, no, I understand it was also not very good. So, I mean, that scene from Bill and Ted wasn't like put on for just the Bill and Ted scene in Bogus Journey. That was actually taken out an episode, <laughs> <laughs> and that was. Oh. Uh, I even watched that episode. Oh, classic. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, uh, so yeah, they, they they look like aliens, and then she speaks to a bunch of kids who are like mucking about on their mobile phones, and they're like, "Oh, they're ping pongers. That's yeah. what they are. That's they the ping same, pong." That's the same bit as the alien bit. Is it the same bit? Yeah. Super ping pongers, and they're like, going, "Oh, oh!" with the ping pong in space. <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> and I oh think, my God, I know. And then on about like how he's but he's bald and quite shiny, and he must wear yes. wig. And they're like, "Oh, poor man of that age," type thing. Yeah. Uh, and then she talks to some <laughs> random women in, in a, a rainy day. It's like, "Oh, a rainy day! I saw him doing the oh the street performer. I saw him like playing with a big giant snake random." Yes. <laughs> and then that's right. In the background, you see the snake coming down like a lamp post or something or a telegraph pole. And the, and Billy's going shh shh shh, 
<laughs> you can see them in the background. Like the conversation's happening right towards the the front of the scene, uh-huh. and they're stood in the background. And at one point, like Jesus is covering up Buddha's face again because he's about to to go Shine. all glowy yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, and then I think she comes out the her building block and looks up, or or hears birds flying around, and then mm-hmm. looks up and goes, "What the hell's that?" She, she does. There's so many birds. There's right. so many birds. And they're trying to fly into the window, and Buddha's like, "It's not the mana here. Go away, Jesus yeah. Christ!" <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say my favorite part about this is that Buddha like leans out of the window and goes, "Jesus Christ." Yeah. Birds, god damn it! Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> like it's not clear whether he's blaspheming or he's just shouting on his roommate. <laughs> That's how you get away with it. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, um, then, I did appreciate then, that bit. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and Lanley thinks he's feeding the birds. And like, you can't be feeding the birds yeah. out there. I'm going to ask. And then she waits around. Yep. And then Jesus appears, like in the middle of the night. He's, it's late. Where have you been? You've been at work. Uh, no, all the sightseeing. Huh. <laughs> oh, I got you the souvenir and there's like a teacup or something. And yeah. Lonely, Lonely goes, oh, I can't be having this. Here, have this uh, tea. And he's, uh, leftover and he, tea. He's, he starts to, <laughs> to like get all blushed faced and just goes like, Aah! and then the, uh, the teacup just uh, transforms into a loaf of bread. <laughs> Yeah, and then then his crown flowers as well. Yeah, his crown of thorns. And And she's uh, like, um, what? He's yes. Is is that a magic trick? And he's like, magic trick. Yes, like a hand. Yes, here, have the bread, please. (laughs) The bread was the gift all along. Yeah, that was it. So, <laughs> so she's then sitting at her table eating her bread, and then the guy goes, "She goes, wait, I forgot to ask him about the feeding the cats." <laughs> so she starts at the gate again, and Buddha comes God. along, and can't remember what that one was. What was that? Was her tooth, her tooth comes out while she's eating the bread. Oh, it comes I loose. Like it comes loose, and then, uh, then she, then she goes outside, and there's all this meowing, because all yeah. the cats have turned up now. And she's like, "For fuck's sake, what's with <laughs> all the cats?" And she goes to like that Jesus and Buddha, and it's like, "Are you feeding these cats?" And he's like, "No, no, you've got it all wrong." Um, and he's like, "Hang on, let me just." Jesus is like, "I got this. So let me deal with this." Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, you know, go go away. And the cat's like, oh, and he mentions being hungry or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because she's accusing him of feeding the cats, and he's like, we barely yeah. got enough to feed ourselves. Yeah, and, and then... the cat goes like, oh, amazing. Uh, well, here, here's a plate. I'm going <laughs> to offer up myself as food yeah. for you. Uh, and then the other cat <laughs> brings some matches to cook it with. <laughs> yeah. And he's like... Oh, we're not <laughs> going to eat you. I'm not even going to eat cat. Um... No barbecue cats. But there's there's a scene where there's a scene before that where Buddha's coming along the street going, Oh we need to look to watch our what we're we're spending. We've not got enough money type thing. And then uh, oh. and then he just kinda of growls hungry or something and then spawn instantaneously the peach tree next to him uh sprouts oh. peaches. Wait, this is the miracle bit. This is the miracle bit, and the and the yeah, old man in a chair. Shit, <laughs> suddenly stands <laughs> up in a wheelchair <laughs> from his wheelchair, and then he just stomps away. Yeah, well, gra- uh, the daughter, it. the daughter is like, "Gran, Gran, Grandpa's standing," and runs into the house, <laughs> and then uh, Buddha just goes, "Ah, yes, it's just um, just been quite warm. They just all sleep because the grandpa was like, oh my god.'" These peaches have yeah. uh have it's never never sprouted never. any no no fruit was born born on that tree ever. I like the fact that he goes to explain the fruit that has been born on the tree, and not the person <laughs> that couldn't walk now being able to walk. Yeah. It's like uh, I can explain the fruit. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with a fruit. I, I can't do more than that. <laughs> uh, uh, it's like, oh, it's um, yeah, yeah. It's been warm recently, and Lanley goes, "Yes, that's right, it has been." <laughs> yes. And then he goes away and goes, "Damn it, I forgot to ask him about the, if the birds." Are <laughs> and then it's the cats. And then, then the cats the cat. offer them. Yeah, and then uh, she is so shocked at what she sees and so angry that she spits out her uh, her tooth uh, and it goes into the darkness. I mean, you could look at it. I, I just believe it was raining, pissing down with rain at the time and she got a cold and, and sneezed. Oh, is that what happened? I think that's what happened. I thought she, I thought she was yelling. Oh, well, she was, because she cause before they came to Buddha and Jesus Christ, she went around all the first floor tenants and offered them to play yep. and see the cats and the cats didn't react at all. And yeah, it was like, oh, well, it must be these guys. Uh, and then, so she was literally just throwing them out. It's like, yep, nope, can't be here. There's no pets. No pets allowed. Not allowed to be here. Get out. And then she spits out the tooth. And then they stay behind to search for the tooth. Yep. And then and, uh, she was she's like, like oh, you don't need to do this. You don't need yeah. to. It's like, it's late. It's cold. Uh, we should go inside. Yeah. Um, I know you good guys type thing. Yeah. And then Buddha comes away with some righteous uh, statement. Of, oh, but our happiness is derived from your happiest landlady. Yes, and that's then right. She's just like, stop it, Buddha, with that virtue <laughs> saying that you're going, your heel is going to show. And then suddenly... And he just goes like... Psh! And then all you hear is landlady going, I can't see... <laughs> I'm blind and he goes I found the tooth yeah. my eyes <laughs> yeah. she's just screaming yeah I, could, yeah, I think G, G just, I found the tooth because he can't hold the plate up in front of Buddha's yeah. face <laughs> he holds the plate up in front of his face it's like a billion lumen torch and he's like oh plate <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh it's so dumb and then uh, she's just basically, oh, well, you know, obviously they're good guys. And then yep. created a new rule, which I never read because it's all subtitled. It was it was so over so fast. Yeah, you're like, what? Yep. So I guess the rule is, it's okay if Jesus and Buddha stay. Let's I mean, go with that. I mean, they technically are the teachings that they, they had, or it's quite riches. Yeah, it's, it's just the followers that I have of prongs. Let's see if I could. Uh, Much like all the other followers trolls. of any other fandom. <laughs> well, this... I think that's that's the end of the first episode, right? That's the end of the first episode. Yeah, that is wild. Well, it was a wild, wild. ride. It was like it is, it is wild. Like, so what's this all about? And then it's like. All right, okay. Sure. <laughs> I can't even remember how the second episode starts now. Oh, they're, they're having a big discussion. Well, uh, how do you rate the first episode? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, the bits that made me laugh really made me laugh. Yeah. I think it's just a shame that the rest of the structure is quite dull and a bit difficult and torturous yeah um, I, I think it's I don't know I think it was it's stayed in Japan type thing this one um yeah we're, we're the, trying to watch the sub but um the, the jokes I, are the jokes are landing like I I did laugh a lot at the the parts that were sort of supposed to be funny um, yeah yeah the jokes I don't know like a like a six the first one yeah, I think it's it's better than average. Like I because like it it wasn't absolute dreg. Yeah, uh, it it was a bit slow at times and not overly fond of the animation. Um, well, I mean, which I understand is the way it is because they're trying to keep it as faithful to the the manga as possible. So I I get that. Like that's that's cool. I, that's I just a personal mind. preference. I don't mind the. I kind of like the the simple. The simpleness of of the the drawings. Yeah, it's, nice, it's, it's it's fine. Nice reactions to some of them. Um, what what about you? 
probably about the same. It's it's kind of a bit of loss in translation. I feel sometimes, in some of the the jokes they try to pull over, like um, in the later episodes anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of the three um, episodes that there are. Yeah, I just mean like um. It's good. It's like uh, if you want to go and basically watch something and go, what did I just watch? Then it's a good one of those. Good one of those. What did I watch? And it's not terrible. I mean, no, I, I certainly, no, it's, it's not. Certainly was able to watch it without too much struggle. <clears throat> yeah, like I say, I think like it suffered from just pacing for me where. I I like in between the laughs I just wasn't that interested. Yeah. Like but when like when the funny things were happening they were quite funny. Like you know people walking when they couldn't walk or people's faces blinding old women yeah. or cats serving themselves up as food. That stuff oh, was uh that was pretty, was good. pretty funny. I love the but, uh, I love the the cat bringing the matches. Yeah, the cat the cat bringing the matches is ridiculous. Um <laughs> Yeah. But then uh episode we roll into episode two. Uh mm. is this the one where they're discussing going on holiday? Essentially they were discussing or in a massive debate as the narration tells us. And uh and basically like they're having an argument over uh paella? Is it paella? The rice dish in from Spain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and basically like, ah oh, but it's just not. It's not rice. I don't classify it as rice, but you know. All and they're talking about the internet. And they're using the internet and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then like, well, so what about your hometown? And it's like, oh, well, no, let's not go to India because it's yeah. it's not very nice. <laughs> it's very dirty. And he's like, this yeah. is coming from a man that bathes in the the Ganges. In the Ganges, yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah, let's not get into that. Yeah. He's, uh, they they eventually, of course. Uh, end up with Japan being yeah. the, the location that they desire. It's like, but the idea because they're talking about it's like, oh, you know, uh, but there's so many gods there. Isn't that going to be a problem? Like, and he's like, ah, but uh, what is it? Because they talk about having to get gifts for the gods. Yeah, and they're saying if we got so many gifts, then it would be the opposite. It would be shameful. It would be shameful. It'd be more shameful to get more gifts in that sense. Yeah. So so yeah, they don't need to buy gifts if they go to Japan because there's too many gods. Because yeah. there's even hundreds of tiny gods on top of every grain of rice, apparently. Uh, I think it was seven, but yeah. <laughs> Is it seven? Yeah. Still, there's tiny yeah. gods on top of grains of rice. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, oh, sorry, don't get, don't have any gifts, but the, the rice here is excellent. Yep. Uh, yeah, um, so... Hi. Right, so they come to the, they went to go to Japan, live in the flat, um, and it basically it's raining outside, and Jesus yes, also, Jesus is hungry. Yeah. So they do Again. the grains, the green rice, and there's too many gods to give them gifts, but they re- really regret that. And then must skip after that. To like a point I think, where I think it goes that they're not on holiday anymore. I think. Oh no! Geez, I think they are. They are. They're still in the are apartment. They, they're in the apartment. Okay. Yeah, and um, so they're there, and it's like, oh, Japan's great type thing, and Buddha's doing all the chores. And yes, saying, that's oh, right. Um, I wish it wouldn't rain so much, so I can hang out these clothes, and he's just hang them up in the like the living room area of the apartment. Uh, rather than the kitchen area, because he's cleaned up to like yes sparkling Perfect. conditions, yeah. Uh, and it's like, oh well, why don't you get a job, uh, a hobby? And it's like, well, I do pray, um, meditation, and some other thing. <laughs> and it's like, no, no, that's part of your role. Uh, what's the other thing? Oh, how about silk printing of the t-shirts type thing? Yeah. And then Jesus says something about no, but then he goes. Then it kind of goes, but actually, all the t-shirts and stuff that you're wearing is made by me. Ma ha ha ha! Because it's been going from screen to screen to screen, and it's so like Siddhartha and all the other <laughs> gods' t-shirts that they've made. Yeah, oh, is that what's happening? I didn't read them. Yeah, yeah, uh, I I recognize some of the names, and yeah, I think they've been they like 
making making t-shirts for all the gods all right <laughs> uh and then and then but uh, deflects it by going oh but you're always on the laptop when you got free time jesus it's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes what's, what's that about yeah what's that about and then he kind of hide the boy no 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 can't look oh you're into those things no nothing like that and then he, no nothing nothing uh, so sinful no no so sinful for a god and turns it around and it's i do a blog and i watch everything that and I, same, I write about it the same day yeah i watched everything at any possible time the same day of uh, some yep. drama shows oh. yep and he gets tens of thousands of hits a day yeah uh, he's lots of followers and it reminds him of the good old days when yeah he used to have other followers when he used to have followers where he got executed uh is it this one? And then there's something. There's, is it this episode where he does the resurrection? Talks about his resurrection and how he. No. That's no, the that, next one. That's the next one in his weird dream. Because it's on the train. Yeah. Because uh, it's talking about the tunnel. Uh, yeah. The uh, This one is then where he's talking about, he's like, you know what? I am hungry. Mm -hmm. he's like we could he goes but it's raining and we have no food in the house and then buddha's like oh i have this awful thing that this person keeps sending me every year because i like i helped them years thousands of years ago 2500 years uh, ago yeah and it's like oh i I don't want it goes but i can't stand the smell it's all yeah i i only ate it because i was uh basically meditated to starvation like yeah and I was really, really hungry to hate it. <laughs> yep. Um, so he doesn't want any of that, and Jesus isn't super keen on it either. Oh. Uh, yeah, so Jesus does look in the fridge or the freezer and states <laughs> that there's so, something, something, and a pair of underpants. And a pair of underpants. He's like, You're still freezing your underpants? Yeah, it's Jesus. So and he's like, You know what? Once you do it, you'll never go back. It's like uh, once you had black, you never go back. <laughs> what is happening in this show? I don't know. I know what's going on with that. Anyway, um, so there's that, and then Jesus says some. Uh, Buddha ends up saying something, making the Buddha face, and then double clicking. Yeah, and he's don't don't do that and double click in my face. Yeah, <laughs> what's that all about? Don't don't talk so don't talk so uh, praisingly and then click in my face. That's not okay. Don't make yeah. that face. Yeah. Um. I. So anyway, yeah, we then end up going outside and goes. All right, I'm going to get you some something. I'll be back. Goes outside, and looks like he brings me a a couple of bits of rock and some water. Yeah, I was going to say it looks like lumps of coal. Uh, nah, they're more blue than coal. I think it was just some rock or something or somewhere yeah and he basically says all right you go and now uh, make it into uh low uh bread and wine and jesus like i can't be doing that <laughs> i can't do that shit shameful yeah uh and then there's a knock at the door and it's landlady going Mr. Saint, because that's what they're getting called. Mr. Saint. Yeah. Mr. Saint. And they're like, oh shit, it's the landlady. What are we going to do? What are we going to H- do? Hide the big golden idol statue. Hide the big golden Buddha statue. She can't see that. She'll think we're in a cult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a cult or um, nar- nar- narcissist. <laughs> or narcissist, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the she knocks like three times looking for him, and then they go, okay, let's do it. And then they open the door and uh, she says, oh, I didn't think you'd be here. Do you not work? <laughs> it's like, oh, no, these things are the world of vagabonds. <laughs> what's, and then the narrator goes, like, what's worse? Uh, being narcissists or uh, being vagabonds? <laughs> these are the questions. I don't know if vagabonds the right word. I don't think it is. Uh, layabouts, layabouts. Yeah, I think it was layabouts. We'll say layabouts. We'll go with that. Uh, and don't have jobs. And then that's when the episode ends. 
Oh man. It's like what? <laughs> What's this one about? <laughs> nothing fucking happens in this episode. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. It's a rainy day episode where nothing nothing. Even less happens in it than the rainy episode of uh Haraki. Yeah, there's like a couple of things <laughs> in this that are kind of funny, but man. This is yeah. uh, this is rough. Uh yeah, it's like I say, it's starting to lose <laughs> it's been lost in translation now. <laughs> I think it's it's more than that. I think it like it, it started it's like, oh yeah, this has got momentum and then they're like, Oh man, what? What are we supposed to do with this? Yeah. Uh maybe like one day it's raining and they're or something I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, the yeah thing that's is, it. Jesus right doesn't to... want to go. Yeah, Jesus doesn't want to go into the shop because it's raining. <laughs> yeah, food. he talks about getting. Uh, talks about ordering food in. Oh, did he? I thought he was just like. Oh, he goes. Maybe go we could get deliver, and then he gets interrupted. Oh, because I thought uh, he was like kind of rocking back and forth. I was like, oh, I need to. I'm really hungry. I need to go, and maybe I can sleep it, but then I can't sleep. And there's other, like, there's a big dilemma about him being hungry and how he can, he can't avoid it. Anyway. How do you rate this one, Colin? <laughs> it ended. I'll give it a four. Uh, okay. It's a little bit higher than I'd go. I was going <laughs> to give it a three, but I think we're in the same ballpark, so. I... Definitely not an easy watch. I wouldn't say I, it kind of ended before I realised yeah. I, like, I thought it, it was building up to something Landley's coming nope. in and then some stupid shit nope. was going to happen and then Landley nope. came and then the episode went ended and I was like what? Yep. What, what did what it? What the fuck happened here? What happened here? There were 20 minutes long and it just ended and it's like really? Is that? Is that it that? is insane. Somehow it made me not realize the passage of type. Yes. And and as a result, it kind of just blends into the start of episode three, where you're like, so what what's happening now? And oh. then they're in a train? No, no, uh it's New Year. Remember we were saying it was, Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, that's right, it's New Year. It talks about being New Year and stuff like that and they're getting to the holidays and they got a a reef on the door uh, and then they're on a train going randomly some, somewhere in in Japan on a train. Yep. And then uh, I don't know. The, the, well, the to... woman gives him a note. Jesus gets buys some stuff. Oh, or Buddha and Jesus buy things on the train, and he's like, mm, yeah. he's just like super into it. Yeah, and. Buddha is apparently, oh, um, I didn't think you'd buy anything on the train. Buddha is, it's, yeah, it is expensive, it's, but it's, well in Rome type thing. Yep. Not really and Rome type thing, but. It's such a, like, what is happening? That's and a uh, day trip. They're off to some place in Japan on a train. <clears throat> and then they seem to start talking about how it, it starts to be a blizzard or something, and it's like, oh, wow. It kind of looks like when we come down from heaven and it had like a cut scene where Buddha's in a plane and he's look oh. get and then some women's at the the porthole of the plane windows of the plane take a picture because there's a bunch of Buddhas it's in the clouds waving. Bowing. It it was because he said it's a really nice view outside of this train. The view from a plane just looks the same as it does from from heaven. Oh, is that what they said? I that's I think that's what they say. Didn't and then it's it. uh, yeah, he's like uh. And then, yeah, the woman was like, ooh, click, 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 photos of these sky Buddhas. Yeah. Uh, and then, then it cuts back. <laughs> and then they look out the window again, and the Buddhas are there again waving. And yeah. the whole train's like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. And he's like, wait, we're in the sky? Why are we in the sky? Ah, but What's it's happening? Not, it's not just Buddhas. There's also angels. Going no, you're right. Welcome there are to angels heaven. too. Welcome to heaven, guys, and it's like, it's all the shit. We're flying. Is, does he not stand up and like, everybody, uh, remain calm. Yeah, Everything's yeah. going to be fine. And you're like, hey, see the guy who says, everybody, remain calm. Everything's going to be fine. You are so suspicious. 
Yeah. <laughs> like in that moment, it's just like this guy must know what's going on. Uh, yeah, that was uh, that was Jesus that stood up and said that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and oh, then, Jesus. Uh... <laughs> yes, 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 it was. <laughs> Apparently, oh boy. And then um, Peter comes up and basically kind of does like a a godly slap on him. Doesn't slap him, but yep. basically goes, "No, Jesus." Jesus, calm down. You got to, got to calm down. In these moments, you got to be calm and thing. And yep. Jesus, is like, yes, you're right. Type thing. Uh, do, do you know what would make me feel good? Oh, oh shit, shit. We talk, we've, we've totally forgot about talking about uh, the tunnel on the train. Because oh yeah, you're right. That, there's there's <clears throat> yeah. a scene in the tunnel, and Jesus is like, ah. Oh, so, something about leaving X in the tunnel, you feel kind of weird doing that or anything like that. He says he said uh, he's like I'm looking forward to the tunnel, and he's like uh, I'm I'm a little apprehensive, and uh, <laughs> yeah. he's like oh do you hold your breath the whole way through? And he goes no, it's not that. Uh, <laughs> it's it you know seeing the light at the end of a tunnel reminds me of res- <laughs> like resurrecting <laughs> and like having to sit with an angel and figure out what face I'm going to make as I come out of the cave. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, buddy, buddy, Jesus. Yep, and uh, and Buddha's like, oh, I admire your dedication yeah. to what you're doing. <laughs> it's like it's so t- weird. That's a weird thing. But anyway, they, they're in the, in the sky flying, and Jesus has a panic attack, and Buddha's like, quit it, stop that, and then uh, he says something about he brings out. His bag, which has Nirvana on it, by the way. Yeah. And uh, he pulls out the crap and hands it to yep. Jesus. And Jesus is like, what? What's this? Oh, well, you it, know. It's, it, it's a Tarabaru crab. Yeah, it's a tar- Tarabaru burra. I thought it was because it was Roma- Romanizing or Romaji for terrible. He's like, uh. it's a Tarabaru crab in case of something Tarabaru, that's what he says, or something like that. Yeah. And Jesus goes, Tarabaru crab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not. You go basically just goes. It's a terrible. And then Jesus goes, huh? Tarabaru crab. Yeah. And then he's like, huh? What? Oh, that's great! That's that's like yeah. a quality joke. <laughs> that's talking. so clever. And then yeah. he's like, "Here, take the crab." And he's like, "Oh, cool!" And touches it, and he's like, "Oh, oh no! Why is the crab all squashy and squishy? Yeah. That's not right. Crabs aren't squashy and squishy." Yeah, he's like holding it like that. Boop, boop, yeah, boop, boop. and he's like, "Okay," and he does it for like a minute or two. For far, far too long. And then one could I th- argue. I think he's just like, oh, what's up with this? And then he it just kind of cuts away from the whole train scene in the sky, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then you see that he's sleeping in in his bed next to the yep. uh, Buddha, and just squeezing and his earlobes, squeezing his earlobes. <laughs> oh my god! And going Tarburger Club, Tarburger Club. But that's that's not. That's that's all right. That's that was a reasonable, <laughs> a reasonable dream experience. Well, that was a reasonable thing. We're now about to enter the end of the show, which is entirely unreasonable. <laughs> because I thought it was like, wait, is this a fourth episode? I didn't see the credits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. What? It goes from that to. Jesus and Buddha, as a sp- as a space invaders machine. Uh yeah, there's just some it does some flash event and goes game over type thing, and then you see Buddha is like the the player piece in space space invaders, and is it, Jesus wait, is, it, wait, is a base. Jesus is the kind of the blo- yeah he's yeah yeah he's one of the bases. Yeah, he is. And there's, there's they got all the normal bases. <laughs> yeah, like right home. And then, uh, so uh, Buddha's playing as himself, and he kind of wanders out from the base and protects himself on the yep. base as you do. 
and then just kind of goes doot, 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 and it goes boom and gets instantly destroyed and it goes what? can I say can I say I am going to isolate the noises of him dying <laughs> and use them on my soundboard because it's ah 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 oh no 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they're so good <laughs> they're so funny uh, oh my god yeah the sound is so wrong too um <laughs> So, yeah, so he does that, and I think he gets one alien kill before he loses he all his life. And yep. he just he shoots the bullet out through his his bobble in his head. Yep. The, whatever you call it. Uh, and goes pew! Uh, and then dies. And then he goes, really? He gets an extra life back. And he says, what? And then he goes out and dies. Yep. And where all the all our bases have been destroyed now because he's died that many times and the bases haven't reformed. <laughs> he starts hiding under Jesus. He starts hiding under Jesus and Jesus then gets hit in the head and starts bleeding. <laughs> from the, from can, we, can, can we also talk about the fact he accidentally shoots Jesus as well? <laughs> yeah. He says, he says sorry. And Jesus is like, that's all right. One thing I will say, like, is actually, I think admirably, they have captured sort of the new player experience of playing Space Invaders. Of yeah. Accidentally shooting your own base, only like peeking out and sort of trying to shoot and not really trying to to win in an effective manner. Yeah, but I'll give them that. I'll give them that. I was uh, there was um. I don't know, there was a little tattoo just shooting through the base and going pew, 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 just like in Future Yeah. Hammer. Yeah. Future Hammer did that. <laughs> in that episode. I was like, oh, God damn you. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so, and then it was like the last one. And it's like, oh, man, I can never get this one. My brother had to do it for me. I believe it was, <laughs> it was the quote in Future Hammer. And then uh, they land and... Because this it, it was actually like... like actual alien invasion coming in to invade Earth. yeah because uh, I think that might be well, I'm getting off track and talking about future drama about me guys and that's uh, that might be the episode where um, they basically cancelled a TV show and that the aliens were watching and they came down to like uh, thwart planet, planet Earth for cancelling the show before it it finished its season. Uh, yes, I think that rings a bell. And uh, only Fry knows about the show because it was in his time rather than in the future because of how long it took to broadcast out into space. But anyway. Yeah. I digress. Or I digest. You digest. I digest. Um, this this uh, episode is weird and doesn't really go anywhere else. Oh, uh, well... She, Buddha keeps getting his life back, and he, he does. He then um, basically has a talk with Jesus, and Jesus is like blah 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 blah, and then he has a, a righteous effect, and like becomes all powerful in the the, the space invaders game. Yeah, and then starts just obliterating everyone, and then for, for whatever reason, the aliens now turn into like the little kids that you saw in episode one. Yeah, just their I heads. didn't get this. And yeah. he's like, oh shit, how am I in this trial now? Type thing. I can't be harming these people. They're good. And then, what did he shout at the end? When he comes to a revelation? Oh shit, is it like, don't continue? Don't continue or something like that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to see, because he goes on like, Oh, it's every arcade player's dream to see the, the uh, not to not see the the uh, the continue screen, or something like that. Yeah, like get past get to the, the actual end of the game screen. I think it was what he's meaning, and not the yeah, the kill the screen. screen. Yeah, um, and then but ah, uh, once the kid's there, and he's like, I can't shoot him, and he's just actually shooting the the bullets. It comes to the point of like. Realization or something. He says something prolific, I think, or something. Mm. Nepticism, or something like that. He shouts. No, not nepticism. 
Nihilist? Nihilism? So, nihilism? Is it nihilism? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I, either Kai, way. Kai explodes into a ball of light and then lights up the entire apartment and Jesus is uh, startled by this and goes, ah! And all you see is Buddha just sleeping and going, no, no, continue. No, 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 continue. No, no, no. And, no, and that's it. <laughs> and that's it. Ends. Uh, did you watch past the credits? I saw there was like a conversation about the way that they'd done the show or something like that. No, they were into it. They're partly uh, advertising the movie. <laughs> oh, and have like oh, well, and also a music video of uh, yeah, the music video bit I saw of the kind of like intro because that's one of the thing that um, the long lady in the very first episode thought. Oh, are they like a a band? They, oh yeah, they, they could be in a band. Yeah, and if was, oh we don't play music we we're not music's not our kind of jam. Maybe the the holy uh, holy Santra or something that he's uh, Buddha says and Jesus like stop it stop it now, <laughs> clear it your your halo will show. <laughs> that was it. That was the thing I'm thinking of. Uh, anyway, yeah. So basically, this episode consists of it was a uh, New Year slash Christmas yep. time. Jesus, Jesus dream, Jesus dreamt of being on a bullet train to somewhere in Japan, yep. and, and a soft crab, and a <laughs> and um, explanation why he doesn't like tunnels. Yep, yep. Uh, and then there was Bullet Dream where he dreamt that he was the player in Space Invaders, and yes. could never die. He would always come and back with one life. Tried not to shoot children, and tried not to shoot children. Uh, Holy shit. And- what the fuck? And that's that's the end of that episode. I, and the show. And the show. To be clear. That's, yes, I believe that when I, however I looked at it, it says there's two episodes, technically. When I looked at like Wikipedia, it says, oh, there's only two episodes. Yeah, I, I, I guess. I don't know. I mean, that's it, possibly because the end in the, the credit scene of like the the first ones that we watched, which were called mm-hmm. one and two, certainly seem to show scenes from both the episodes. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Well, uh, I don't know. How how do you rate this uh, this other one then? We'll put it was smack in the middle. We'll give it a five because it was entertaining. Yes, uh, I also agree. A five is a fair <laughs> score. It's not as good as the first one. No, it's the definitely one. better than the second one. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one just left. It was like, what? What did I just watch? I, uh, I honestly like. I watched it. I had to watch this one twice because I sort of nodded off a little bit towards the the end of the dream, <laughs> uh, the, the the Jesus dream. Yeah. And then woke up and it was just Space Invaders, and I was like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to rewind about four minutes of it. Oh I was yeah. Like, oh, okay. Wow. This is uh, this is something. It is, it is something. So, um, yeah, if if you want to watch this thing and you go, that's a thing, and then just this leave it at that. This this is the thing that you can watch to get that this thingy feeling. Yeah, this is a thing that is a thing. Will give you that thingy feeling. Thingy feeling. Um, yeah. How did you know about this again? I've. I got a glimpse of it on on YouTube, but I don't think it's I think possibly there might be other episodes out there. Well there's definitely a movie. There is a movie. Yeah, maybe it's the movie I I picked up on. I, I think these are on. just the OVAs, so Yeah, yeah. Uh so there seems to be a movie um somewhere. There's a live action movie. Oh yes, and there's a live action one. Yes, they made a live action of this for some reason. Uh, yeah, I kind of want. Oh, actually, it's 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 a TV series. Oh my god, it's still going. No, that's the, the, the not TV possible. series. 
<laughs> oh, maybe. No, I think they just haven't cancelled it properly yet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they haven't cancelled it properly? <clears throat> well, it properly. On, Straight into space. On, IMD, on IMDb, it's just there's three episodes and three seasons, and there's just one episode in each season. Oh, all right, okay. So I guess they've just maybe forgotten. Like, nobody's updated it properly, I think, is the, the issue. Possibly, yeah. Anyway, um. So, yeah. So, yeah. Merry Christmas, people. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Uh, you have listened to another episode of Who's That Anime, a podcast about anime and Christmas this time around. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find us at our home, anchor.fm forward slash Who's That Anime, where you can see us that we have every link into Spotify, Audible, Pocket Cast, Overcast, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, and anywhere an RSS feed can be used. You can listen to this show. Um, if you like what we do, um, that would be super cool if you would manage to leave us a review. Five stars is always welcome. And anything less with some constructive criticism, absolutely welcome too. Um, we don't make any money on this. There's no adverts. We just kind of like to watch anime. So those reviews go a long way. But also, if you have reviewed us already or you can't review us because of the platform you choose to listen to us on, then telling a friend is always a really cool option too. Mm. Uh, we have a Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash who's that anime where we post the latest episodes and the occasional anime memes. Uh, we have a Discord. You can find the link to that in the show notes. Mm-hmm. Colin has a painstaking time putting together our video components of the episodes for youtube.com where you can find us by looking for the channel. Who, the channel? Channel. Who's Chanimal. that anime? Channel. I I managed to. How did I? I that was channel and anime, but I put anime in the middle. <laughs> That's uh, I, Channel. That I think I think my brain just shut down for a second there. Oh my god! I mean, you did watch your Saint Man. I, I it's yeah, Saint Young Man. I did I did watch that. Uh, Saint then um yeah. Then, uh, like I say, you can go to youtube.com and search for the channel Who's That Anime. Uh, this episode will be up in the new year, um, oh. I believe. No, this episode will be aired on Christmas. Oh, we're actually going to we're gonna, we're gonna do that. We're this is going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. This is Christmas, man. This is, this is proper special. Christmas. Cause last this time is we special. Did, last time we put our Christmas special up, someone moaned that it wasn't Christmas. <laughs> I don't know the moan, but they certainly made the comment. They didn't. They didn't. They said this is definitely not Christmas, and I was like, "No, you're not. You're totally right. We did it, though. We did it. We finally did it. We got this episode out." Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it was done. like it was like in February or something. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was later than that. I think it was like June. It might have been actually. It was like June. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, yeah. he was in this. Um, so. YouTube. Uh, also, Colin and I occasionally uh, like to play some video games. Colin at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel and myself at twitch.tv forward slash hailpayman. Not too much live games going on there right now, but there no. is archive. There are archives of both of those channels at youtube.com if you search for the channels couchfuel and hailpayman. Yep. Yeah. That's it. We, That's... we did it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh... What do you get for Christmas, Steve? Uh, I mean, I'm going to preempt it and I'm going to say Amazon vouchers, I think, is really... Uh, what are you going to say? Okay. Uh, I'm going to feed the, feed the machine. Feed the machine. <laughs> feed the yeah, machine just, that's basically Just, ba- just keep basis. pumping money into Amazon. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I've, sto- I've, I've tried to stop buying books from Amazon, to be fair. I'm trying to buy from Blackwells at the moment. Blackwells, all right. Yeah, they're very good. Uh, they do free postage in the UK, which is great. Um, oh, nice! Yeah, and their their prices are fairly reasonable too, so worth a worth a look. They do, yeah. however, use Every to deliver your books. Uh, so if you don't trust your Every delivery driver, then maybe don't order from them. <laughs> if you oh, want to have your book arrive. Yeah, I've got who you were actually talking about because. Oh yeah, sorry, Hermes. Hermes, that's what they were called before in this day and age, but yeah. now they're thing because I, I buy uh, beer. What is it? Beer fifty two. Oh, is that Hermes that deliver that for you? Uh, yeah, well, Hermes. Wait, well, it, you know, you know what? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, shit, I used to get yeah. that too. I oh well, I I don't get it. I I sent it to my brother because I'm a nice brother. 
That's that's right, you do, don't you? Uh, yeah, only been three years. Yeah, roughly three years now. Yeah, it must be three years because he's only two and a half years older than me. And I sent it for his birthday for his 40th. There you go, guys. You go. But it, I pointed out my card that time we did something that was 40. I went, look. Yeah, that's right. I was up there and that was like. Holy shit. Over a year. We've been doing this show a while. Almost two years, man. So close. So yeah. close. Yeah, yeah, Jesus, it's almost two years because I'm going to be older now. Well, with that, I guess uh, the next. Obviously, we're taking a bit of a break right now mm -hmm. for Christmas from Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man will return in the new year. Uh, next week for New Year's, we figured we'd do a little recap of yeah. the year and yeah. just uh, talk about some of the anime and manga and bits and pieces that we've been uh you know watching and enjoying over the last year um and with the the two-year anniversary of the show maybe we'll do a little bit of a special uh for the 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 the, the, the two-year mark or the hundredth episode oh no wait the hundredth episode is going to be the end of chainsaw man isn't it yeah well technically it's gonna work two-year anniversary would be 100 204 104 even because yeah, yeah weeks. you're right so we could always do that too yeah so there you go that's the thing so yeah uh, yeah so that is that is us hope you had a good Christmas and all that because that's the end of this episode um, Merry Christmas Happy Holidays yep uh, and have a good new year when it comes that's yep do you see jeez we'll be back Oh yeah, we will be back next week with our New Year special, same. like Steve said. Yep, same anime place, same anime time. Yep. Uh, yabba dabba do. See you there. <laughs> Perfect. Stop, stop, stop the recording. Stop it.